Morning guys! Just did a fast run from Karat Highway now going through the tunnel. Not sure if you can see me. And uh, it's been a while since I brought my Audi out on a fast morning drive. And, and I have to say this man, nothing beats an Audi when it comes to high speed highway driving. You know, not the type whereby you are, you are doing a lot of super windy roads, but just high speed cruising, 170, 180, 160, and you just stick to your own lane. You don't really need to rely on Apex and all that because Audis are just made to stick on the road like a, like a bullet train, literally like a bullet train. And the aerodynamics are brilliant. The suspension is brilliant. The, the weightage of the steering wheel, you know, is made for high-speed highway driving. I was driving on the same road in the GDC4 Lusso and I was already feeling afraid at about 150-160 kmh, you know. I, I drove the BMW 330i on the same route as well and I felt afraid about that kind of 140-150 kind, kind of speed, you know. But this guy can do it at 170, one-handed, you know, while I'm just watching my news. It's just so confidence-inspiring. I don't know how to put it. Sorry about the wind noise because I have my roof box up here. Uh, it, it, it becomes rather loud at about 150 kmh. Um, but it's just... It's just the kind of confidence that it gives you when you turn on a band like that. The way it loads up the car, the way the car immediately settles in without, without any bit of additional um, reactions. It's just brilliant. And of course, uh, a big shout out to Riber Auto. Um, I went there and refurbished all my all four of my suspensions. He helped me, uh, made it a little bit stiffer than original, and uh, I spent about four thousand plus ringgit with the, uh, the the bushings and some of the things like that. And of course, uh, I did my car. My car did auto foam, which uh, stiffens up the uh, the body of the car, the frame of the car, and quiets it down and uh, absorbs vibration so really man it's after all that and uh and uh, of course I, I brought my car to to thailand you know uh for for enduro last year uh, but but just now I, when i drive here i was like oh man i miss this kind of sensation you know not every time you want to go steering lock to lock and uh, tire screeching, tire screeching, and all that. And that's why all the reviewers, despite all the what all the reviewers uh, on the internet, you know, taking Audis to the track and then seeing things like, uh, oh, you know, it's not as. But that's the point. These cars are created for a very different purpose, and a purpose that ninety-nine percent. Of the time, this purpose is more useful than the other spectrum of things, whereby the the tail is sliding and things like that. I mean, come on, it's it's, it's legal to drive 220, 250, 270 on the highways in Germany in an Audi like this, and it's illegal to drive. 50 kmh with the tail sliding up in Germany, right? That's this. So these are the, the, the practical boys, you know. The sitting position is just so comfortable. The um, the visibility. That's the thing. In terms of practicality, Audi can do no wrong, you know. It's just brilliant. What a brilliant, brilliant drive. See, these are not like, like super curvy bends, you know, these are high speed bends. And, uh, yeah, bends that you can feel. Yep, now I'm gonna drive my car to the location where I usually do walk around reviews to 
let everyone have a good look at my car and um shit suddenly got emotion now uh, is he gonna show everyone what it is you know and uh lovely car it is hmm a lot of memories a lot of memories but she deserves a, a younger husband husband who would make love to her every night uh, my lovely car yeah this has been my lovely companion for eight years you know served me reliably doesn't give me issues starts every day every hard drive no temperature flare up nothing it's just perfect because so i take care of her well as well uh. Uh, yeah let's uh look through the car yeah guys that's my baby there sorry it's a bit windy so uh you, you hear a bit of wind because this sony camera is uh damn lousy with wind wind noise reduction Anyway, um, yeah, since 2012 until now, uh, this is the 2009 car. Um, I've had it, yeah, and uh, emotional, emotional. I mean, the, the, the thing is, this it's not like an alpha, alpha breaks down, then you have a lot of emotional pull and all that. Right? This one doesn't. It, it never break down, but I, I went through a lot. Uh, it sees uh, my first interaction with the S4 was when I started to work in this line, and then um, I was downloading the press pictures of this car when it first launched. You know, I still remember those press pictures. It was uh, the, the the sedan, red color sedan S4, and the blue color wagon S4 on some racetrack that photo shoot and at the time I just started my business my salary was like 3,500 ringgit and I was thinking how can I own something like this one day and um, and I'm, I was lucky enough in uh, in just three and a half to four years time in 2012 I managed to buy one and uh, when I when I got it it was like a two and a half year car it's a 2009 car it was a reconditioned AP import and um, yeah at that time, the S4 value was like 330,000 ringgit. Yeah, so got it. And um, over the years, the only one big time I, w I went into the workshop was when the clutch was acting up. And then I had the clutch replaced. I uh, reprogrammed the uh, new ECU of the transmission and engine once. There was a new software, they said there's a new software. I spent almost 3,000 ringgit to reload the car with the new software and then uh the the biggest thing it was this year uh, last year 2019 where i i did all this nonsense thing to the car which uh makes it look a little bit ridiculous now and uh, a quirky way but not in a destructive manner because the whole all the original body kits are there there wasn't a single panel that was cut by installing this bull bar this booba looks a little bit ridiculous, but it's, it's fit for action in enduro, right? With the two bobs there, the hella bobs here, shining bright in the in the Thailand forest roads. And then that, that ridiculous booba chasing people off the the fast lane. This is a very fast car. It's tuned by DNA tuning. Mike, yeah, tune it. So now it should be developing anywhere from 500 plus Newton to 430 or 440 horsepower. Um, Four-wheel drive, sport differential. It's a full-spec car. It has the uh, uh, drive select. It has the the, the highest-end MMI system back then, right? Set nav, um, power boot. Uh, I got these uh, Akrapovic exhaust tips. You know, um, I thought they were used real. Then I paid. I went to the shop. Apparently, those these are fakes. Okay, la, at least they look the part, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, it has the original exhaust systems, just that the tips are Akrapovic tips, which are rather good looking, I would say. And uh, this is my third set of rim. The original set of rims are the 10-spoke uh, original rims. 
Then uh, I cracked one of the little spokes. There was a crack line there. Then I bought one set of ABT rims. The ABT rims are ugly, ugly as hell. But it's the least ugly in the shop that time. Why I bought it? Because I need to buy it in a rush. And I don't use fake Taiwan rims. I don't use those rims. And um, I only buy original. I don't mind if it's used, but I buy original. And uh, the ABT rims, they were having some discount at the time, 50% off. So that rim should be about 14,000 ringgit. I got it for 6,000. Put them on. <coughs> Then uh, there was an ins I used it for about three years. Then I ran into a micro slip situation. It's basically, I micro slapped behind the wheel and I hit the curb and dented it. Then uh, I hated that set of rim anyway. Then uh, someone from Audi Club pointed me to these lovely, lovely rims. All right, they are used. Then I got them refurbished, put them on. Fantastic rims. These rims, right? These are Audi has three grades of rims: the basic grade, the sport, and the RS grade. This is the RS grade rim. So the spokes are actually hollow, lightweight. All right. I got the headlamp assembly refurbished. It was really clean. The lights are bright now. New bulbs, and then uh, I got some new horns. Okay. The original horns of this generation Audi was placed at a very wrong location. It was placed somewhere down there. Always gonna water, right? And the, the horns will go bad. So this is the better location, but it's not the best color. I bought them from Hella's website, and they sound ridiculous. They like they sound like some old Mercedes-Benz horn. Um, I, I if I'm buying this car, I will spray it black lah. The, the two things are ugly, you know. Or if I'm buying, I will remove the booba. <laughs> but up to you. If you are looking at this car, um, if you're buying it lah. Huh? So it has the uh, the rain sensing wiper, the the dark sensing headlamps. Uh, it has a panoramic roof, but I have sealed the panoramic roof. I'll explain it later why I sealed it because uh, just like your glass door in your living room, um, it may one day leak water. So to to protect everything, I just want the glass. I actually just wanted the glass because to be honest, seldom open it. But the motors are all working. The motors are all working. Then, uh, sorry for all my daily stuff. It's, it's, it's a daily use car. I have that Xiaomi air purifier. And uh, this is a very high spec car because it even comes with these rails. And I bought these uh, bars, you know, to move around. You can put your luggages, you can strap your stuff around. Uh, all the electronic works, the travel socket all here works. Brilliant. All right. It's a lovely car. It's a car that I can just drive 220 kmh, 230 kmh, all the way to Thailand. Immediately into a traffic jam, jam for 30 minutes, temperature stays at 90 degrees, nothing, aircon, cold, love it, fantastic, alright, let's come inside, and the car has been auto foam, so uh, it's really quiet, really taut, feels tight, when you drive it, the whole car feels very well screwed together, because uh, if you've seen my videos, it has been auto foam, uh, you get rear aircon vents, I did the new uh, liner, the liners would drop, right? Uh, I use original material, original Audi material, so it's not the usual 500 ringgit, 600 ringgit you did in other places. The leather seats are still beautiful, these, these lovely Napa leathers are just fantastic, all the way wrapped, the entire seat, these are the RS Sport seats, they look great, they're fantastic, really really comfortable, and um, one thing, if you're buying my car, there was once in a workshop, um, they put the seat backs down, right, to, to do something, I forgot what was it, and the idiots climb onto the back of this seat with their knees and all that, so they press against the back plastic of this armrest, so the back plastic cracked, so now I'd rather not open it, because the crack actually affects the, the hinges and all that. Uh, the whole armrest assembly is, is okay, it's just the back plate, the plastic back plate was cracked, okay? And um, all the lights work, everything is fine. I have this roof box, you can remove it if you want to. I'm not the type of guy whereby I'll remove my stuff and start selling them to recoup back some money, to not give the new owner everything. I'm just, I'm just going to give the new owner everything. I have another set of Goodyear Eagle F1s, these are with the GT tires. Uh, three sets of rim, even though every one set has one unusable rim. Um, this whole thing costs a lot of money. Uh, basically, they are worth a lot of money. All right. Yeah, it was done with our project with uh, Dula and all that. Then uh, I have these uh, sport pedals as well in my car. 
and um, everything's everything's fine. And then there's a wiring issue with the uh, the airbags. So um, to me. I'm not so particular. I, I need to tell everybody this, you know. Airbags actually have a lifespan. And uh, this is a 10 year old car. So some people don't know that. Uh, airbags have lifespan. And uh, airbags don't come cheap, okay. So I haven't gone and really figured out the, 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 the wiring, but just one airbag light came up after I don't know which thing was it that I was doing. The roof liner or what I cannot recall right but basically everything else is just fine just you start the car and then you see the airbag like that's it um, everything works everything is fantastic I installed the uh, door lock and unlock button on the passenger side it, it did not came with it and then uh, I have this sports uh, gear knob if it's the low spec MMI the MMI controller is here that's for the low spec version this is the high spec one right the full spec one so uh, yep that's the interior. Everything works. Everything is fine. This this generation of uh, basically the S and S5 is fantastic in terms of reliability. Right, everything works. No problem. You start the car for eight years, eight long years. Every morning, every time the car just started, the car just moved. No issues at all. This year, I refurbished all my suspension, my bushing. Uh, I serviced my car rigorously. Uh, new brake pads, uh, new bulbs, uh, refurbished front headlamps. So I did all this because of Enduro, right? Yeah, to make the car look exciting and all that. So all the colors, all the non nonsense stickers are out there. Those are removable anyway. Um, yeah. It's a brilliant, brilliant car. Fast, comfortable. I especially love the ride quality. I love the throttle response. It's very responsive. And uh, it's not jerky, you know, the whole car just, just rolls and moves. Of course, it's an old car, it's a 10-year-old car, right? There are certain things that are very difficult to remove, provided you just throw away the entire set, right? If I throw away all the control arms, throw away all my steering rack, throw away everything, all this mounting, all this one shot, one all new set comes in, throw away all the interior stuff, change new door panels and all that, of course, the car going to feel like new, but nobody maintains cars like that, provided you are refurbishing a classic car if not you buy a used car you sort of live with a little bit of here and there right so if you're in a, a, a cement parking lot and you turn your steering wheel you can feel a little bit of judder but there's no worries at all uh, it doesn't affect the driving in any way it's just old being old right uh, check there's no leakage nothing uh, I never had like those oil dripping down the floor and all that none of that uh, whenever I detected anything I would immediately go out and get it fixed right? Mechanical parts, I spend, I spend, I spend, I spend new. I always, but this car has, it's not a high maintenance car. You know, you just drive, you just refuel. It's thirstier. It's of course it's thirstier than your two liter turbo, your one point eight liter. This is a four hundred over horsepower car. What do you expect, right? So, um, yeah, it's a fantastic family car. I have the Bang and Olufsen sound system. Uh, some came with Bose, right? This is the highest grade sound system, the Bang and Olufsen. And amazingly, it sounds better after I installed the Android screen. And this Android screen is just brilliant, man. This thing is fantastic, I tell you. It, uh, you go into reverse. Of course, it's aftermarket, but original, they don't offer it, right? You get a 360 view of the screen, and then after you reverse already, you continue driving, it will switch to the, 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 the front camera. It switch to the front camera. So it, it does all that. It's, it's, it's brilliant. So, and uh, I get to watch YouTube here. I can play Spotify, Netflix, if you want to, right? The whole thing is so responsive. It's fantastic. One of the best modifications I've done to this car is this. All right, so, yeah. Uh, it's a car that everything works, except the uh, this one. I sealed it uh, because I just don't want to open it. Uh, I'm sure. I don't think you open it. Provided it's your first time owning a panoramic roof car, if not, you won't be opening it. Right? Um, that's the only thing. But the safeguard measure is that there won't be leakage. All right? There won't be leakage because rubber seals will get old and all that. All right? So, uh, yep. 
get lights and all that, everything works out basically. So, so. And uh, having the roof box is brilliant. At first I was like, wow, there's a wind noise. But after a while, you get used to it, you know, by the time it reached 140, 150 kmh, yeah, it's loud. But I don't know, I, it depends on you because I like the looks of it, uh, I like the added utility. As once we refill that one, we can put our luggages up there. It's fantastic. So, yep. We're putting this car for sale. You can go to Muda, Kale's, look at S4 wagon. Of course, it's wagon is much, much rarer than sedans. Uh, it's, it's worth a lot more money. And wagon has a chance whereby the prices will swing back up as opposed to sedan. Look at coupes, look at wagons, look at cabriolets. They always they might sometimes, at first, they are not as desirable in Malaysia. They might drop, but they will swing back up, you know. Uh, that's the beauty of having a wagon. You look at a Mercedes uh, W123 or something, the wagon will cost easily four times the price of a sedan. So, in terms of a car that you can buy at a relatively low price now, and you drive it and use it, it is, it is a safeguard of your investment because uh, it may continue to depreciate a little bit more but you won't go further lower than 50,000 or whatever because this is a car that's easy to maintain and then it will swing back up the prices it will go back to about 80, 90,000 I'm not sure over the years so yeah this is the car that I'm selling now um, reason for selling I'm looking at another wagon mm. to be honest with you and uh, I'm the type of person once I finish paid off a car it's the time where the car should move on to a new owner and I don't want to let myself be easy that means oh I paid off already I don't have to pay this then I'll use the money elsewhere or something like that I want to continue pay for cars so after I paid off this car I'm gonna let it go and then I use the same amount or if I'm able to upgrade myself a little bit more push myself a little bit more add a few hundred bucks let's say if this car I'm paying installment of 2005 a month right if I'm able to if, if it allows me to I would try and top up maybe maybe i'll tell myself okay this round i want to pay installment of uh, 2008 or 3000 to push myself further so um, i want to maintain that so i'll get another car that i'll continue paying at least what i'm paying for this car every month so i'm not someone who like oh i finished paying off my car i'm so happy you know let's let's relax no 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 I'll, I'll prefer to push myself further so i finished paid off this car it's time to let it go for someone else to to love it and take care of it yep this is my audi s4 avant uh, lovely lovely car all right cheers Sayang.